All right, so let's look again at homework 3.5, number five. So we have some uh, world records here for the men's 100 meter dash, and we have some of the uh, Olympics from 1912 to 2009 in here. Um, and again, it says here there was a change in the electronic timing in 1970s, and then that might explain the gap. So we're missing some records. Uh, this is super important. We want to create uh, a a line to go with these points, but we really should see how they line up to try and find that line. And it's super important that you create a scatter plot. And here it says to do it on paper, so I'll do that, uh, but you could do it on a spreadsheet too. Uh, and in this case, compared to other problems we've done recently, is I didn't pick which two points you should use to make the line, you have to pick them. So here's how I would get set up for that. So on my paper, uh, I'm going to start carefully making a graph. So I already drew out uh, a line here for my Y, my world record times. So Y, that's the record in seconds. And then my X down here is the given year. Uh, and I realized I had to get from 1912 to 2009. So I just said, okay, well, start at 1900. But I was also told to start with T as years after 1900. And then I just thought if I go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, if I go by 10 at the bottom here, that'll give me a reasonable spacing to get all of these dates that I need there. Uh, and then here I could see the times range from a low of 9.6 to a high of 10.6. So I needed to choose a scale that showed that. I decided to not start at zero, so I'm breaking the axis here. I made a jump from zero to nine, and then each of these is a 10. So 9.1, 9.2, 9.3, 9.4, or that should say 9.5 there. Oops, mislabeled. And then I have to go and try to plot those points to the best of my ability. So in 1912, it's 10.6. So here's 1910 right there. So just over a little bit for 1912. So I'm estimating that point somewhere around here-ish. And then 1921, here's 1920, 10.4. So I think that's somewhere over here. So just do your best estimate. 1930, 10.3. Let's see, 1930 is here, 10.3 is here. So I think that point's gonna be around there. And those make a nice line. Is that the line I want? Well, I need to plot the other points to see. I'm just gonna skip over to 2009 here at 9.6. Here's 2010, so it's just in from that a touch. And then 9.6 is about this height here. So it looks like that points around here. We should get over just a little bit, maybe right there. 2008, right before that, 9.7. So maybe that one's here. 1999, 9.8. Graph paper would be nice. But just in case you didn't have graph paper, I'm trying to do it without. So I think those are my last three points. And then there's some in the middle, 1936. So 10, 20, 30, 40. So right in the middle ish here is 1936, 10.2. So I come up, estimate where 10.2 is around there. So do your best to plot them and then pick two points. 1956, 10.1. I think that's going to be about here. 1960 is 10. About here. 1968, 9.9. .9. So 50, 60, 70, 68 is around here. And 9.9 is .9 about there. Okay, so that's the points to the best of my artistic ability today. And then I just want to hold up a ruler or a piece of paper on the on my paper and, and try and find a you know a good line through here. So maybe my line is something like this one right here, in which case I might pick this, oops, it's not a pen. 
I might pick that point there and that point there is the two points I'm going to use. So maybe those two. And where's the other one? I think this one is what I'm looking at. Now, similarly, if you're if, if you want to try on a spreadsheet just for fun, paper is sufficient here, just be neat. Uh, it's not too bad doing this in a spreadsheet. So you would just copy, I would copy from the word year, just to the edge of it, right to the edge of 9.6, and then copy it. Um, I prefer Google Sheets, but you could use Excel, the same thing works either place. So I'm going to use Google Sheets. Let's say I did it before, I'm going to do it again. So I should just be able to paste it in. If I copied it right, it should just go in nice. And then I can ask Google to insert a chart for me. Now Google went all the way down to zero, which is a lot of empty space there. So I'm going to show you how I fixed that. On the right from setup, I would go to customize. And then I think it's either vertical axis or grid line. I'm going to guess vertical axis. So I have all this extra vertical space here. Yeah, it lets me do a minimum value. So I could do something like from eight to 12, see what that looks like. Yeah, on my paper earlier, I went from maybe, you know, nine-ish to 11. Right, so it allows me to uh, change that axis there so I can zoom in. And then I hold up a piece of paper to my screen here to try and estimate a line through there. And I still, that second point and the second to last or the second point and the last point. So you pick two points. Once you pick them, then find your line. And we talked about how to find the line earlier. Uh, but it is important uh, in this case that we look at the points on a graph to decide which two points to use to estimate that line. Thanks for playing. Bye-bye.